All right, so this is construction on the Crosstown LRT. Metrolinx is doing it. Now, we're right at Young and Eglinton, and they had hoped to close the Eglinton subway station this weekend to do some work, but they had to cancel those plans. They just did it because they couldn't get shuttle buses from the TTC. The problem was that uh, drivers, operators, aren't allowed to do overtime, according to their union. The union has put a ban on any kind of overtime beyond the normal accepted one. So they had to put an end to that. Now the TTC is scrambling to try and find an alternative to get enough alt operators running on these buses so that they can do this. There are several other closures planned over the next few months. Now, TTC's Brad Ross says they're going to hire about 100 operators and they will be in place by July. Up until then, they're working on an alternative, although he wouldn't say what it was. We have been working with Metrolinx to, to try to find a solution to the lack of shuttle buses. Uh, that plan continues to be developed. There's a, another closure scheduled for next weekend. Um, we're not, uh, we're, that, that, that is still on, but, but that could change. If the plan comes together, um, then, then we could be a go. If it doesn't, then uh, we'll have to look at, at another uh, you know, solution later with respect to making up that time. Now, there could be another 22 such weekend closures this year, but Ross wouldn't say how many of those could be negatively affected. Now, the union implemented the overtime ban to press the commission on filling what it says is the 10% vacancy rate, approximately 1,000 to 1,100 positions that are unfilled. ATU Local 113 Rep John Danino says the 100 hires by July is welcome, but it isn't enough for them to change the overtime ban. What the TC needs to do is the TC needs to sit down, look at their resources, staff us, fund us correctly, and ensure that they give us provisions within our collective agreement that guarantee us no contracting out of work normally performed by our bargaining unit. And it's that simple. It's that simple. Now, Metrolink says for now this situation is workable. They can focus on other areas, but they wouldn't elaborate what would happen if more of these weekend, these scheduled weekends for work are cancelled. Now, one of the things that uh, the TC, TTC reportedly had been looking at was bringing in Metrolink's drivers and buses to uh, shuttle people between the stations affected by this closure. But Danino says the union would likely grieve that if it were to happen.